electron affinity is the opposite of ionization energy. Ionization energy is removing an electron, but electron affinity is adding an electron. Affinity is being good at something or liking it. For example, if you have an affinity for a sport, you're good at it or you like it. A high electron affinity means the atom likes and is good at getting electrons. When the atom gains electrons, it becomes negatively charged, making it an anion. For example, the neutral chlorine atom can gain an electron to make the chloride ion, which has a minus one charge. The electron affinity is a negative 349 kilojoules per mole. The negative sign means that rather than costing energy to make this happen, energy is released by this reaction. Notice it is written as Ea1. Just like with ionization energies, we could do the same thing with more than one electron. The second electron to be added would be Ea2, the third to be added would be Ea3, and so on. In terms of magnitude, that is absolute value of the number, electron affinity generally follows the same trend as for ionization energy. The smallest values are at the lower left of the periodic table, and the largest values are at the upper right of the periodic table. Cesium, for example, has a value of negative 45, which means that not much energy is released when the atom gains an electron. Cesium has a low electron affinity, meaning it does not want electrons. Fluorine, on the other hand, being in the upper right, has a high electron affinity, meaning it really wants electrons. It will release 322 kilojoules per mole of energy when it gains an electron. The exception to the overall trend is the noble gases. Even though they are on the right side of the periodic table, they do not want electrons. The noble gas exception makes the trend for electron affinity slightly different than the trend for ionization energy. So make sure you know which is which. The magnitude of the electron affinity increases across a row as effective nuclear charge increases because the electron that is being added feels more attraction from the positive charge in the nucleus. Noble gases, however, do not want to gain an electron because their outer shell is full. So the new electron would have to go into the next shell up, which is significantly higher in energy. The magnitude of the electron affinity decreases down a column up in the periodic table because the electron that is added is going into a larger shell that feels less attractive force from the nucleus. Arrange the elements selenium, sulfur, cesium, and potassium in order of increasing first electron affinity. Is it A, selenium, then potassium, then sulfur, then cesium? B, selenium, then cesium, then sulfur, then potassium? C, cesium, then potassium, then selenium, then sulfur? Or D, sulfur, then selenium, then potassium, then cesium? The correct answer is C cesium, then potassium, then selenium, then sulfur. We can walk our way along the periodic table to find the answer. The lowest electron affinity will be in the lower left of the periodic table, so that would be cesium in this problem. We go up and right to get to potassium, right to get to selenium, and up to get to sulfur.